community. And um, we'll ask that uh, you bring food and we'll have a box out there that you can put that in so that we can give back to our community as well, especially in this time, not only for Christmas, but you know, there's a lot of need out there and we want to help um, meet that. Amen. Um, also want to remind you that if you um, want to know what's going on in uh, our church, you can go to ccfv.life and you can see all of the Bible studies. We have several women's and men's Bible studies. Pastor Rick does a, a Bible study on Tuesdays and you can see all of that. So all the events are online and you can go and do that. If you have a prayer request, you can text prayer to 951-419-5396. And uh, that prayer request will get out um, because we need to be a praying church. We have been, but we need to continue to do that. Um, little brief uh, uh, commercial. Uh, I, I wanted to share with you about Indonesia a little bit. Um, on uh, last Thursday, Johannes Anakota, uh, he is a young man that uh, was part of our ministry for years and years and years, and he was ordained on Thursday, and it became a direct result of uh, STL, Shine the Light uh, Ministries. And it was a blessing to be there even though I wasn't there, you know, being able to watch the live stream and for God to um, really have had his hand on, on Johannes and um, it's a direct result of our um, support for them. Then also in the Soe Orphanage, we, we uh, just got this past week, two new babies. Um, and it, it, it's sad because one of the babies, um, the mother died in childbirth and the baby was a preemie and she gained within a short period of time a lot of um, weight. And so she's doing well. And the Soy Orphanage, um, which we support in a, in a big way, uh, is just being blessed by what you guys are doing. So very important about that. Next Saturday, Pray for the prayer walk in Washington, D.C. Uh, Franklin Graham is doing a prayer walk starting from the Lincoln uh, Memorial all the way down to the Capitol. And all along the way, there is going to be prayer over our country. Um, as you know, um, prayer offends some people. And it's going to be interesting what's going to go on there. But Deb and I are going to get to go to that. We pray that you would pray for us for strength and um, also for protection. You know, not protection physically, although that's there, but protection for mouth. Because Deb, you know how she gets. Sometimes she just unleashes on people. And, what, are you, what are you laughing at? That's true. Um, but we need that prayer because um, we want to do what God calls us to do. There'll be thousands of people there. It'll be an interesting time and we're praying for this country. This country, I don't know if you've noticed this, we're in need. Um, with um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg passing away, more conflict is coming to our country. And so we need to pray for wisdom for our, our leaders um, that God would do something miraculously and um, bless this country. We're in turmoil. So pray for our country. Pray for our leadership. Um, pray for the election that's coming up. And then pray for Israel. A lot going on in Israel. Um, we talked about it at the, prayer, at the um, prophecy meeting last week, which was well attended and uh, was a blessing. I don't know if it was a blessing to those that came, but it was a blessing to me. Uh, and, you know, it, it's so important to know what's about to happen. And we should be in prayer over that. Amen? God is on the throne. There is no other. And we need to be in prayer that God leads us individually, individually, so that we do what he calls us to do. Amen? Well, let's pray and let's enter into worship and let's, uh, um, let's just be joyous praising our Father. Lord, as we bow before you, we are thankful that you are God. We're thankful, Father, that we can bring our petitions before you, but we also, Father, are thankful that we can praise your name. I pray for, Lord, our ability to praise you in worship and in the teaching, and I praise you, Father, for the fact that you are bringing Christians together in this state, in this country, and that you, Father, are calling us to a revival. Lord, help us to be a part of that. We pray for our president. You would give him wisdom. 
We pray for our Congress, that you would give them wisdom. We pray for Israel, that you would do a great and mighty work. Lord, we continue to lift up this body, that you would direct us, you would guide us, that you would open the doors of where you're calling us to be. Pray for Pastor Rick, that you would bless him to overflowing with your wisdom. In Jesus' name do we pray, amen.